the business is crazy. You know what I mean? You have to do it, but it's art first. So if artists are putting their creativity first, that's the people I'm trying to work with. Yeah. Hi, Loke Files Media, Hollywood Theater, Vancouver, BC, Hip Hop 50. We're right now outside with the homie Junk, Northwest Division household. How you doing, man? I'm feeling like an outer body experience right now. That was crazy, bro. I feel blessed. So grateful. Hip Hop 50. All the legends in the building. The birthday and the love that we have for hip hop is just quite clear tonight, man. Thank you for being here, too. Thank you very much. Um, right off the bat, I want to ask you, that was a nice little surprise you had there with Flip Out where you went off the timeline. Of I wanted to ask you, you know, where that idea originally come from and how do you feel about the performance? Uh, the idea, I was actually on a treadmill getting ready for the show and then I was like, man, I got to do something different. I got to do something extra special for the 50. It just came to me literally on a whim. I got off the treadmill, finished my workout, hollered at Flip Out, told him the idea. He was immediately sold and the next day he was like, bro, I got all the vinyl. I'm putting it all together. Chronological order in reverse. It was like a tandem effort, but yeah, we just, I just thought of it and Flip Out took it to the next level and we executed it. I think that, that might have been my personal favorite performance ever of mine and maybe my most important for me just in front of all the legends in vancouver on this date with flip out like i don't know if there's anything more iconic than that for me so i'm just super blessed right now insane all right, looking at some of the recent collaborations you know two sides with Kasky, done with the games with millies i want to ask you um creatively and uh throughout your progression as well what do you feel like it was in these artists specifically that made you want to collaborate with them um Kasky, bro i just like Kasky. i just people say you, know, you gotta manifest things i really manifested that one i mean i've been at it for so long dedicated to the craft and whatnot but that's what it takes to be able to have the manifestation come true i've always wanted to work with Kasky. he's one of my favorite artists and it just my homie was doing my sleeve shout out to tattoos by news um and he asked me what artist i wanted to do a song with and i told him Kasky. and a week later he set up a fucking studio session in florida flew down there met him made the song on the spot shout out to starcore on the beat and that's what i mean by manifestation like i just put it out in the universe but i was also prepared he's such a great humble amazing artist too great writer i just want to work with people that are humble and really talented people that only care about the art first you know what i mean and kasky's one of those so any artists out there like that I'm, I'm i'm looking at them i'm finding them people that take art more serious than all the other shit that comes with it I, the business is crazy you know what i mean you have to do it but it's art first so if artists are putting their creativity first that's the people i'm trying to work with yeah Excellent. Great. Great. We love the way you said that right there. Okay. Household records, household, the movement, you know what I mean? It has transformed and expanded it completely since its original days and its original inception. When you look at the transition and progression of household to developing in-house content to expanding and including artists and producers and videographers across the country. Um, when you look at the difference between household back in the day when it was Northwest Division, Main Offenders, AC, how do you look at it nowadays today and what do you have to say about the progression and development? It's just the natural progression progression bro shout out to everybody that you know uh zach and cole and mike and josh yo much love to my guys out there tion gives cameron james give them some love yeah i know you guys did an interview earlier but fuck it um it's just a progression now bro um me and me and sean me and hungry just have taken it to another level of it's not just even music i mean we got producers across the board engineers people that run businesses that aren't even doing music it's really just household is just a collective of like-minded individuals that use creativity, humbleness, loyalty, and family values to push the art forward and push art that is meaningful forward. So, you know, if you identify with those things, you'll probably like our music and like what we're about. And that's tonight was another, I mean, we put on the show too, you know, it was a collab effort, household productions tonight. So we just want to put on for the city, for the country, for any community that just is sharing those values. And that's what household really is. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a house it's figurative too. It's a house, and everybody's welcome. If you're if you're if you're gonna contribute and share the ideals we have, you can sit in our house and just pull up and just you know watch some TV and that motherfucker. Uh, you know, make yourself at home at the end of the day. I okay. Lastly, what are the updates for you guys coming up in 2023 and maybe 2024? Household junk. Lots of shit, bro. We got so many things. More tours, more collaborative albums. Actually, I got a crazy album coming out with Messiah. Uh, I'm not going to drop the name of the album quite yet, but that shit is done. We're still almost mixing a couple more records, but it's going to start rolling out really soon. And um, I'm, that's going to be what I'm dedicated to musically for releases for 2024. And then, yeah, I got some crazy, crazy opportunities to tour with some major artists that are uh, giving us a crazy look right now. But I don't really want to say it. But... 
I mean, don't expect anything less than a lot of music, a lot of videos, a lot of content, a lot of just, you know, me grinding, bro. Just I'm a, I'm a productive yeah. dude and I want to keep being that. So, yeah. That's it. All right. Thank you very much, Loke Files Media. We're signing off right here. No Water in Hell. Get the album right now. No Water in Hell went number one would be Travis Scott on iTunes rap charts. I love y'all. Much love. Peace. Yeah. Every story there's two sides. Every story there's two sides. You can choose the one that you like. You can choose the one that you like. But number no mean that you right. The things that you see me, you sight. I'm selling on the